Okay, let's dive in. Head to sign up forms and then form builder to create your new opt-in form. Create a new text field and call your text field opt-in. And we're going to make sure that it's visible here because we're going to hide it later. So make sure it's visible. And now you're going to create a name uh, so that you can find this, this in your code. Just, it doesn't matter really what you put here because this is going to be removed by you. Just don't put spaces like I did here. And so you've created a new field called opt-in. Now you're gonna grab the code for this new form with your opt-in field. So head to embedded forms and copy and paste the code that MailChimp created with this new opt-in field. If you're gonna to go to your website in web WordPress, make sure you use the text editor and then edit the code that you created. Here's that opt-in field that we created, okay? We're gonna hide it from the page manually. So you're just gonna make sure that you do a few things like change text to hidden and remove the label just by deleting the text that you created there. Now in the value field, you're going to write a trigger for the download that you wanna provide. In this case, you're gonna give an opt-in called cat food recipe. And every time someone fills out this form, this form has the value cat food recipe, and that's going to tell MailChimp to deliver the cat food recipe. So now you're going to create your automation. Click automated as your option and then subscriber activity. Now you're going to create your campaign. This is a recipe opt-in. Uh, you're going to choose your main list because now all your opt-ins can go through your main list. And you want to make sure that you change the trigger. Uh, so you're going to change the list field to value and you're going to go ahead and find your opt-in field that you created, the text field called opt-in. So you're telling this to deliver um, something when that field in the opt-in field that you created says cat food recipe. <laughs> so you're going to put the value that you entered earlier on here, cat food recipe. It does have to be exactly the same, typed exactly the same as you did in the form code. All right, so now this um, automation knows to deliver the cat food recipe whenever somebody uses the form that has that value in it. Now you're gonna just add your email opt-in as you would any other time. You're gonna create an email um, with any messaging you like and a link to your download that's the cat food recipe. And now every time someone signs up, you're going to see which opt-in they signed up for and they're all gonna be in your same list. And it doesn't matter if they already were a member of your list, they can download however many opt-ins you like.